Hello everyone, Pez here and thank you for tuning in for another video today. We're doing something pretty cool today. We're driving the F1 2022 Evo as given to us by Racing Studios for a set of Corsa. Now a week ago today as it happens was the of course the British Grand Prix. Yours truly happened to be there. It was a great time, fantastic race, and as you can tell, I was, I'm pretty happy with Hamilton win. But they did also show off the full-size model of what the 2022 regulations or the FIA are aiming to make them look like. Now, I love the look of this car. There are a few detractors. You know, change is scary. I understand, but it'll all be fine. The goal of this car is to provide better racing and allow the cars to race closer together. Now, the modern cars, as much as I think they're amazing, they're not great for close racing. They, they give off a lot of dirty air. And it just means that you can't you can't follow another person in these in the current gen cars. The majority of the downforce comes from the floor in these new cars, ground effects. The front and the rear wing are just there really to stop you under and oversteering. Now I've spoken enough about what the car is already, I feel. I've driven it quite a lot already and I really, really enjoy this. It's the right blend of high tech, high downforce performance, but also the way the driving feels, it sort of harkens back to the 90s, 90s, 2000s where if you put your foot down, you will die. Anyway, I've spoken enough now. We're going to be doing a seven lap race around Silverstone against the AI. And we're going to be doing the whole thing in VR. We're going to get to the race now. And I really hope you enjoy the video. If sim racing is your thing, then please consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you all next time. On the grid then in our 2022 F1 car. Lights down, away they go. Well, I'm a lot faster off the line than the AI. Into turn one, always a bit spooky because the AI, well, let's be real here, they don't really know how to drive. So I'm uh, gonna be a bit overly cautious. They love to hop over that sausage curb. I don't know why. That's not very intelligent of the AI as, oh no, big, big old pile up on tur at turn three. No worries, damage is turned off. Run a little bit wide there onto the Wellington straight, but no matter. DRS wide open. AC, of course, doesn't correctly model DRS. We can use it at any time. We don't have to be one second behind somebody. You know, unfortunately, that means the AI has that, has it as well. No matter. The old start finish line. Into cops. Oh, you know I've got to do it to him. There's contact, but he looks fine. <laughs> right, into Max and Beckett's. Not quite as on rails as the, uh, the 2021 car, uh, which you would expect. This car does have a lot less downforce. Hang a straight then into Stowe. Don't be afraid to run out a little bit wide on that corner. Cannot remember the life of me what these corners are called. Okay, and that is lap one of our little seven lap race in the F1 2022 Evo from RS from RSS. As I run a little bit wide there at turn one, no worries. You know what? Open wheels in VR. As I let the back end step out of me a little bit there. Open wheel cars in VR is just the best thing ever. I absolutely love driving this car. Feels like an F1 car should. It feels like it's got the the modern high-speed grip but at the same time in low-speed stuff it is very loose uh, I think it's the perfect balance that F1 F1 cars should go down which of course they are with this new model new car or just hopefully they will be ground effects of course so all the downforce comes from the floor 
front and the rear wing are pretty much just there to stop, well, to stop you from under and oversteering, really. But I gotta say, it does make for a really uh, satisfying and enjoyable driving experience. It's like double shift there, you don't do that very often with paddle shifters. I think my finger just twitched. Trying to catch up with these guys ahead so I can have a bit more of a race. The, the AI aggression is down a little bit low, admittedly. That's just to stop them barging into me, really. I always miss that apex. Back down the Wellington straight. Into what I think is called Woodcut. I was actually stood at the inside of this corner for the Grand Prix last week. It was amazing. We get a little bit loose there. No worries. You can save this car if the back end steps out. It's not... It, it does remind me of an indie car a lot in that sense. You can drift this thing. You can really wheel it around and be aggressive with it. As I run very wide up Beckett's. Okay, we hold on to it. Got open DRS. I actually nudged my brake bias there. I really need to change the mapping for that. Right. We're nearly on this group then. I do love driving around Silverstone in a Formula 1 car. In a GT car, not so much. But in a Formula 1 car, or a prototype, I'd really love this track. I really want to race these things online as well. Right, we should catch up with this group now. Open up the RS. We're on lap 4 out of 7. This should give us an opportunity to see how the dirty air has changed. Apparently, um, when one car is following another, they should only lose about 4% downforce now with these new regs. Which will mean for, well, up closer racing, which is what we want. Line a little bit wrong there. Come on, mate. You can go faster than that. But I definitely felt like I didn't lose any any grip there. In the 2021 car, you really feel the dirty air. But in this car, you barely feel any loss of downforce. I'm going to send it. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Fuck that up. Haha. <laughs> Locked up. Back end got a bit squirrely. It happens. Reposition the, uh, the VR camera. Unfortunately, uh, the VR headset I have, I don't have any... It doesn't have any head tracker. It's all built in, but it's a bit inac inaccurate. So you need to map a, uh, a reposition button to your steering wheel. Because the camera likes to drift a little bit. Other than that, though... I'm still really enjoying this VR headset. Best purchase I've ever made for uh, for sim racing. Bloody hell, yeah, it's so slow. I need to turn the, I need to turn the eye strength, don't I? And I haven't said that. I haven't got past them yet. I don't think I've, talked, I've spoken enough about this car. I really enjoy driving this car. The older cars, the 2020, 2021 car. They all felt a bit... they were fun, don't get me wrong, but they were very on rails, lots of downforce, lots of grip. Yeah, I didn't really want to chance that. Oh, he's still there. 
BRS and a slipstream, so... I love that hologram on the... on the wheel as well. He's got more grip around the outside, but it's fine. Bloody hell, he's still there. Side by side driving. Oh, there's light contact. Racing instant, whatever. Right, on the back of this Aston Martin looking car here. It should be an easy slipstream past him. Send it down the inside. Alright, I think we cleared him. Yeah, we have. He's there in my mirrors. So cool to have to actually check your mirrors. Such a cool feeling. I mean, this is literally the closest I'm ever going to get to doing any sort of racing in real life. On the outside of cops. He's still there. Oh, contact. He's taking us both out. Well. Can't say I was expecting that. He's going to retire now. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That was just getting exciting. Right, I think it's fair to say we aren't going to catch this group back up. But that's fine, I can spend a bit of time with the car on my own. This is a hot lap now. In fact... Let's turn this bad boy up to 11. It's now on hot lap mode. I've already run wide, never mind. Down to Wellington straight for the last time. 300 Ks easy with the RS open and in hot lap mode. So they've definitely not lost any of the speed, which I think a lot of people were worried about. These guys are definitely a lot slower in the corner. In the corners, probably going to be about five or six seconds slower per lap now. But in truth, I don't think anyone really cares about that. They just want close racing. Oh, oh no, I dropped it. Ah, oh, it's been yallered. I'm gonna lose the position now. No. Oh my god, that was close. That was closer than I thought it was gonna be. Ah, oh, well, it wouldn't be, you know, a, a Ped Gives Up video about the traditional Ped bottle. Oh, hello. Okay then. AI is so strange in a set of course, so. Oh, I'd love to race these in a league. And there we go, race over, finish 11th. We came from 20th, finish on 11th. But yeah, I really enjoy driving this car. Uh, if you have the means, by all means, if you have the means, and I highly recommend you go out and, and purchase it, because it's an RSS mod, and RSS make the best mods in sim racing, really, I'd say. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.